Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from anthonymorganti.com. Welcome to Mastering On One Photo Raw 2018. In this video, we're going to take a look at the borders filter that's found in the effects module of On One Photo Raw 2018. And of course, with the borders filter, you could apply a border to your image, whether you want to use it to print or if you're just going to share it with some type of decorative border. The choice is yours and it's very easy to do in On One Photo Raw 2018. We're in the effects module. We're going to click on add filter and we're going to add that borders filter. And you can see as soon as I added it, it added a white border around our image. And going across the top, we have numerous styles. It added this white border, as I mentioned, and then it has sloppy, instant, then it has emulsion, and then under the drop down, it has those four plus 62 others. I counted 66 total borders. So there's really a lot of different borders that come built into On One Photo Raw 2018. And there's really a lot you could do. It's a pretty powerful filter. Now, if you'd like to see all these borders side by side, if we go over to the left-hand panel and click on filters, you'll see they'll start populating over here and we'll have all 66 of them. If you want a little larger view of the borders, you could click on this grouping of four bricks and you'll get a little larger view. Then if you think you like one, like you like antique deckled, just click on it and it will apply that border to your image. But you have a lot of control over the border and another way you could kind of pick and choose which border to use. If you look here, right where it says border, you'll see that there's three drop downs. The first drop down is the category of border. Right now, this specific one is in the category of antique. And as you can see, there's brush, camera, digital, emulsion, film, simple, sloppy, and Versace. Now, let's say you want a Versace border. Then below that, you'll have this border uh, ch choice of the Versace borders that are available. There's only one, so I probably shouldn't have picked that one. Let's go back to antique. And you can see there's all these different antique borders that you could choose. Now let's say you pick one like this. Then you have the mode. This is really the blend mode. How is the border gonna blend with the image and the actual blank pixels in the background? Do you want the border lighter, darker, screen, multiply, soft light, overlay, hard light, or color. Now you could see some of these are like horrible looking, but it really, uh, the mode is dependent upon the border you're using and a bit dependent on your actual image. The tones in your image will affect how the border blends with your image itself. So be aware of that. Now, we can then affect the opacity of the border itself with this slider here. As I pull it down, you could see that uh, it's getting more translucent and we could see the image below the border. Then we have the actual tone and color of the border itself. These three sliders will only affect the border and they won't be affecting anything else. So if I bring brightness up, you can see that the border is getting brighter, but the background or the image itself is not. And if I go to the left, the border is getting darker. Saturation, similarly, if I move it to the right, you'll see that the border gets more saturated, not the image. And as I move it to the left, the border gets less saturated till it's really a monochrome border when it's all the way at minus 100. Now the actual color or hue of the border is controlled with this slider right here. So if you'd like to change the hue of the border, you can there. And to make it more obvious, I'll change, I'll put saturation at plus 100. You can see that I could really dial in the border I want. Now, some of these borders will be irregular from side to side, meaning in this one, it's pretty symmetrical. What is on top is what's on bottom. So let's, for the sake of this demonstration, uh, pick this antique deckled one, which is kind of different. You can see there's um, kind of folds and rips in this border that are different 
the left side is different than the right side and the top is different than the bottom. So um, with that, we could kind of move this border around. Now, first of all, we could just invert the color by clicking here. So now we have a white border. Now we could invert it so it's dark. Also, you could colorize the border. If you click here, you'll see that it gets a color. And there's three different ways you could choose the color. The first way is you could click on this little postage stamp here, and your color picker will come up. And this will be operating system dependent. So I have a Mac, so this is what the color picker looks like on a Mac. And I could just move around to pick a color that I like for the border. The other way, a second way that you could pick the color of the border is just to move this hue fill slider. So if I just move this around, you can see we're changing the color of the border. The third way you could pick the color of the border is with this eyedropper. If you click on the eyedropper, the eyedropper becomes active and you'll notice that your cursor becomes this plus sign. Just click on a color you like. Usually you want to pick something in the image to help the border match the image more closely. So I'll pick on this like uh, weed or grass that's in the background and you can see it colorized the border in that color. Then this amount slider here, as you pull it down, you'll start to pull some of that color away. Um, so move it to the left and you have no color filled at all. And as you move it to the right, you'll start adding that color. Now, how do you want the border on the image? This is what these transform uh, sliders do. Now you'll notice as I move it left, we're pulling the border away and we're revealing more of the image. Now you can see I'm starting to uh, reveal some blank pixels. What might help is if you zoom out a little bit so the image isn't filling the entire screen. You can of course go up here and you could click some of these um, presets. You could use this slider here. Another thing you could do is just hit, if you have a Mac, Command plus or minus, or if you have a PC, control plus or minus and in the case of my Mac I'll hit command and it's actually the equal sign the equal sign the key that has the plus sign on it also has the equal sign on it so I'll hit that and you can see I zoomed in a little bit and that will give me a better view of the scale so as I move this in or out I can make sure that I'm not um, affecting any uh, or I'm not leaving any blank pixels and I'm just moving it in just enough so I could get the border in completely. So I'm not cutting off any of the edges of the border. If you want to fit this back to screen, you could just get Command-0 or Control-0 and you'll fit to screen. You also could click Fit there. Now, I'm going to zoom out just temporarily again. And this Fit image is going to actually affect the image itself. So you're going to make the image a little smaller or a little bigger. And instead of scaling the border with the top slider, you could actually scale the image with the bottom slider. So whichever works best for you to make your image fit. Now, I mentioned that I picked this border on purpose because the left side's different than the right side and the bottom is different than the top. And that's where these um, arrows come in down here in the bottom left-hand corner. If I want to flip the border so this left side is now on the right side, I would click this far right uh, horizontal arrow, and you could see it flipped it. So now this kind of bent area is on this side. If I want to flip it back, just click it again. Similarly, if I want to swap the top with the bottom, just click this one that's right in the middle, and we'll flip flip it that way so that we have this kind of bent part now at the top. So you could do that by flipping it left or right, top or bottom. This icon right here will just reset your, uh, or just rotate everything 90 degrees, I'm sorry. So I rotated the border now so that the top is now on the sides and the sides are now on the top. Of course, I don't really care for that. So I'm gonna click it again now you can see we're kind of back where we started with the original bottom at the bottom and so on. And I could just keep clicking it and it'll keep rotating 90 degrees in a clockwise fashion. And I'll click it again. Now we're back the way I want it with this um, bent part over here. 
uh, at the top. So that's really pretty much everything you need to know about borders except for one thing. You can import a border of your own. You would click this little import button right here and then the extras manager comes up and you could then navigate with in this case Mac Finder if you have a PC it would have Windows File Explorer and you would navigate to where your borders are on your computer you would pick all your borders and click open once you do it will populate in here and you'll have the borders uh, in on one and you'll be able to choose them very easily and you'll only have to do it once meaning you don't have to click import every single time you want to use a specific border import it once it will always be in on one and you'll be able to uh, use that border all the time now if I like this combination of border and color and the way I have it assembled with the bottom actually on the top I could save this as my own style and to do that I would click on this little more drop down and I would go all the way down at the bottom where it says save new style so we'll click on that and then I could give it a name I'll give it my style and I'll click Save and now when I do if I want to use this border again on another image instead of having to go through all this painstaking a task of you know picking the color colorizing it transforming it so the top is on the bottom I could just click this little drop down and it's right at the top and you can see it's called my style so I save that. Also, it will show up over here um, on the left-hand panel uh, somewhere. There it is right there, My Style. Also, if you click on the little bricks, it'll be in here as well. You just have to find it. And it's in here somewhere, I'm sure. There it is right here in the far left. And there it is. Click on it, and it is there. So that's pretty much everything you need to know about the Borders filter that's found in the Effects module of On One Photo Raw 2018. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.